This video has provided a supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to show how to sketch angles in standard position. And specifically, I'm going to deal with angles in degree measure. I'll do a separate video with angles in radiant measure. Okay, so if we're going to sketch angles, we'll start out with a coordinate plane. I'll have an x-axis and a y-axis. And an angle in standard position is going to begin on the positive side of the x-axis, and it's going to travel counterclockwise around the origin. So if it travels anywhere from 0 degrees up to 90 degrees, it's going to stay in the first quadrant. For the next 90 degrees, from 90 degrees to 180 degrees, the angle will be in the second quadrant. After that, the next 90 degrees will go through the third quadrant up until 270 degrees. And after that, up until 360 degrees will be in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so let's say we're told to sketch an angle of 110 degrees in standard position. So we're going to start out in standard position, meaning we're on the positive side of the x-axis, and we're going to move 110 degrees counterclockwise. So the first 90 degrees will go through the first quadrant. We've got we want 110, so we've got 20 degrees more to go. So we're going to go through the first quadrant and then continue part way into the second quadrant for the remaining 20 degrees. And we'll end up with a rough sketch, that's all we're looking for, of an angle of 110 degrees. Okay, so let's say we want to go further. Let's say we want to go 315 degrees. So now we're going to go 90 degrees through the first quadrant, another 90 degrees, or a total of 180 through the second quadrant, another 90 degrees for 270 through the third quadrant. After the 270 degrees, we still have 45 degrees more to go. So that's going to take us halfway through the fourth quadrant. So our angle of 315 degrees is going to look something like this. Not quite a full circle. A full circle would be 360. Okay, now, we can also go more than 360 degrees. We could go, let's say, 460 degrees. So if we do that, we're going to go a full 360 degrees around, that, around the origin, and then we need to go 100 degrees more. So we'll go 90 degrees through the first quadrant, and 10 degrees after that into the second quadrant, and we'll have an angle of 460 degrees. Let's do an angle even bigger. Let's say I want an angle of 800 degrees. Okay, so this one is going to go once around for 360, and then once more, another 360, which would be a total of 720. After the 720 degrees, we need 80 degrees more to make 800. So we'll go 80 degrees more. That will keep us in the first quadrant, but towards the top of it. Okay, so this would be a rough sketch of an angle of 800 degrees. Okay, now, we can also have negative angles. So let me clean this up. I will deal with some negative angles. So once again, I'm going to draw that coordinate plane, the x-axis, the y-axis, and I'll put in 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, 360, and I'll label my quadrants, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's say we want an angle of negative 35 degrees. This is going to start in standard position. It's going to start on that positive side of the x-axis. But instead of going clockwise, or instead of going counterclockwise, it's going to go clockwise. So we want to go negative 35 degrees. Well, anywhere up until negative 90 degrees is going to stay in the fourth quadrant. So we're just going to go negative 35 degrees and that will give us a sketch of our angle. 
Let's say we want a more negative angle. Let's say we want negative 210 degrees. Okay, so we'll go negative 90, negative 90 again. That takes us to a negative 180. We need 30 more, so we're going to go negative 30 degrees. We're in the second quadrant, and that would be an angle of negative 210 degrees. And as with positive angles, negative angles can also be greater than 480 degrees, than, than 360 degrees. So let's do negative 480 degrees. In other words, I'm going to go clockwise a full time around the origin. That's 360 degrees. I still have 120 degrees to go. So I'm going to continue going clockwise. 90 degrees will take me through the fourth quadrant. I need 30 degrees more, so I'm going to end up in the third quadrant. Okay, so this would be a negative angle, negative 480 degrees. Okay, so that's the basic concept. I'll do another video showing how to do this with radians. It's the same idea, but I just wanted to separate the videos. Okay, take care. I'll see you soon.